the way of purification. Though a man may disregard God's holy commandment during his early life, he will have to account for them sooner or later. The greatest catastrophe which can befall a man is an unprovided death. At present, he can himself he can help himself by admiring God's truth and obeying his law. After death, however, he will no longer be able to save himself. Though he had a lifetime to take advantage of God's love and mercy, he now faces God's justice. The divine justice will reward him according to his earthly life and he will go to hell or heaven a spiritual man is one who seeks to make a best use of this brief earthly life he seeks to live in such a way that he may never sacrifice his greatest success for smaller and less important success he strives to place first things first. Therefore, he endures to follow God's holy will in all things. The first stage of a su successful spiritual life consists of self-purification. Though self-purification is a lifelong task, one in this stage of spiritual development makes it his outstanding daily whole. He strives to rid himself of all serious sin and any predominant venial faults, which may lead to mortal sin. In so doing, he lays a foundation for virtues which he will later practice in a more positive manner and not just as an opposite of his present faults.